This is a video to show you how to do an oil change for a 2012 Suzuki TU250X. You will need some oil, an oil filter, an oil pan, a flathead screwdriver, and two drive sockets, 17 and 10 millimeter. If you're also cleaning the oil strainer, you will need an 8 millimeter drive socket as well as a JIS screwdriver. This is similar to a Phillips screwdriver, but using a Phillips instead can increase the chance of stripping out the screw head. I will do a quick overview of the different areas on the bike that we will be dealing with. This is the housing for the oil filter. You will remove these three acorn nuts to replace the oil filter. This is the oil filler cap. It's where you will add oil. To check how much oil is in your bike, you can look here. This is called the oil level inspection window. The old oil in your bike can be drained out from the bottom of your engine. This is called the oil drain plug. First we're going to place an oil pan underneath the engine, then we're going to remove the oil filler cap. You can remove the oil filler cap simply by twisting with your fingers. Next you will remove your oil drain plug. Be sure to have your oil pan underneath because the oil will begin to drain. While the oil is draining, you can remove the oil filter cap by removing these three squirrel nuts. There is a spring applying pressure to the oil filter inside, so remove the cap slowly to prevent the spring from falling out. Oil will pour out of this housing as well, so be sure to have your oil pan positioned to catch it. Now you can pull out your old oil filter. You can also take out the cap o-ring and clean or replace it if needed. After your oil has finished draining, you can optionally clean your oil strainer if you'd like. To do this, remove these three bolts that hold on the strainer cap. This is what your cap will look like once it's removed. Remove the gasket from the cap. If you notice any gaps or if it feels hard like plastic, replace with a new one that's elastic. Dispose the old gasket in a casket. Now you can get access to the oil strainer. Remove these two screws to remove the strainer from the engine. The strainer has a flat side and a side with a lip. After you finish wiping down and cleaning the strainer, reinstall it with the flat side up. When reinstalling the strainer cap, notice there's an arrow that should be pointing to the front of the bike. Position the strainer cap correctly and then reinstall using the three 8mm bolts. The far right bolt is hard to reach, so you may need to loosen the muffler brackets at the front and back of the bike in order to pull it out of the way just enough to tighten this bolt. Now you can reinstall the oil drain plug. Reinstall the cap o-ring. Install the new oil filter with the hole facing in. Install the gasket on the filter cap. Set the spring in the middle of the filter cap. Attach the filter cap using the squirrel nuts. 
add 1.6 US quarts of oil. After replacing the filler cap, start your engine and run it for about three minutes. Then turn your engine off for three more minutes. Now hold your bike vertically and check that your oil level is between low and full. Now, there are lots of oils on the market to choose from. I ended up going with Mobile One 10W40. Likewise, there are many filters out there. Choose which one suits your needs best. I went with the K&N. Now you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked it.